right through today, when a well-mannered, humble, relatively young man comes back from going away to college or something, right? Now he turns home and speaks from a position of knowledge and authority, that which for some reason upsets the ordinary circumstances at a synagogue gathering. As a child grows up, at what age does the parent accept them as an adult, as an adult equal, or even more advanced than they are as a parent? Isn't that something that we want for our children to be better off than we were? However, sometimes this not, may not be the case. It's so easy to belittle family members, to dismiss them, to show disappointment in them because they're not the people that we wanted them to be. Aren't we toughest on those who we are closest to, yet so nice and accommodating to those outside of our circles, our family? Why is it that we are hardest on those whom we are most familiar, whom we most love? How often do we bump into somebody outside and put on a big smile and say, how are you? How are you feeling? Yeah, when we come home tired from work and so on, and we see our mother, our spouse, our brother, we don't say anything. I tried that on my wife when I was working on this homily. She came upstairs, and I said, honey, how good is it to see you? She looked at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> At the time of Jesus, the Jews in Nazareth lived in a Roman-occupied territory. Their relationship with the Romans were awkward at best. They would rather keep a low profile and not do anything to, up, to, to draw attention to themselves. Now, this young man with new ideas and stirring up the people. The Jews in the synagogue just wanted to dismiss him. And using the methods at that time, by dishonoring him, his family, how he was brought up, his education, the lack of. How do you think Jesus felt when the people in the synagogue looked at him without honor? Quite frankly, Jesus was amazed at the lack of faith they had in him when, they, when he came back after successful activities in neighboring synagogues like Capernaum and the previously, previous healing of that occurred in the home of neighboring synagogue leaders. These positive results would not continue here. And their rejection hurt Jesus. Mark tells us he could do no deed of power there. And he was amazed at their unbelief. How beautifully this passage draws on Jesus' humanity. Like us, he felt the pain of rejection. And that pain would increase throughout the rest of his ministry and ultimately on the cross. Through Jesus' humanity, we know that God felt our, feels our pain. We are participants in God's plan, and through our open hearts and acceptance of others, we welcome the stranger and loved ones into the kingdom of God. And despite rejection, Jesus forgave, and he died on the cross for all of our sins. Let us never reject Jesus by rejecting others. <laughs>